the Japanese style goes, the hand technique is probably superior to the uh, machine technique in many respects. First of all, there's very little sensation or very little feeling. You don't even know you're getting a tattoo in the first place. And then you can uh, carry out certain techniques like big, long uh, graduations of shading uh, that's very, very difficult to do. There's probably only two or three guys in the world that can do it with a conventional Western machine. So I have a hand tattoo myself. This was done by uh, um, a Japanese tattoo artist from uh, Gifu City, Japan, when he did a visit over in this country. As far as I know, I'm the only Westerner that ever had these particular characters. I had quite a, a go-around with Ed Hardy about this tattoo. When I asked Oguri to put it on, uh, Ed jumped in and he said, oh, Oguri will never put that on you. That's uh, strictly for the uh, Japanese patrons, and that's their thing, and Oguri will never do it for you. But uh, Oguri and I had uh, mm, a rapport between us that was pretty good, you know. So uh, when he saw the kind of person I was and what I wanted, he understood right away, and, and he immediately just lay down on the floor, and he got out a little sumi stick, and pulled out his little bamboo stick and beading needles and went right to work. I started the first few Japanese style of tattoos done in Long Beach about 1960. It wasn't very successful because it's really a hard style to imitate. Well, first of all, um, I guess it's composition more than anything else. Um, there's no loose ends in anything they do. Uh, they can they can make something look loose and still have composition. It's, and their style is just it's what I it's just what I like. I know where I'd like to go uh, with the work I'm doing. I want to get into. Uh, the big work again. I quit doing big work for about two years, but there's a lot more satisfaction in doing big work because you can uh, put a lot of yourself into it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> People tell you what they want, and uh, then from there on, you're on your own. You know, uh, you get a few ideas from them on a basic theme, and then you just draw and draw and draw until you're satisfied with the work, and then you can put it on. And then that that's a measure of your ability to that time, you know. Uh, it's a very rare person who can devote all his time to this business and just do it all his life. I can't think of anyone offhand ever. If you're like anyone else, you got to get away and find time to get away from it. Um, if you don't, you'll burn yourself out. Because you have to concentrate so much on what you're doing. You get so wrapped up and so uptight in it sometimes, you look for something else to take your mind away. Geez, I tried skin diving, uh, gold. I used to look for gold, all kinds of hunting and fishing and sailing and all different kinds of things. You know. My hobby anymore is just going from place to place and enjoying traveling, going there. Eventually, I want to get a Chinese junk and put my shop on it and live on it and just sail all over the world with tattoos. You know, I was just exposed to it when I was a kid and I liked it, and uh, I tried to bring it into <coughs> Western tattooing about 1961 in Long Beach. I made a few pretty rough attempts to do it. About the same time, Sailor Jerry was kind of getting into it, and it took him probably five or six years to develop the particular style he had. And uh, I got into it, uh, we kind of developed along at the same time. 
but uh, the people that were getting big work, big Japanese work, when I got to sort of a peak in it, uh, I didn't care much for the particular people that wanted that kind of work then. So I kind of dropped out of it for three or four years. I'd have a few friends come around or somebody in the business or something that wanted some. And I got pretty rusty at it, but now, there's a, a different caliber of people that want the work now, and they're um, a lot easier to work on. They're better, nicer people, people you know, and so it's uh, not so much of a drudgery to work on. So it's, and they're a lot more intelligent and everything else. You know. I said before I'd like to go to Japan and study over there because there's so much to learn there uh, as far as. Uh, their style goes. I've been planning to go for years, but a lot of us have sort of a built-in time clock that, uh, without really setting the clock, know when to do something. And I've wanted to go for a long, long time, but uh, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. It isn't too difficult if someone doesn't have a lot of tattoos, uh, Western tattoos, to apply the Japanese background around the work. Of course, you're not going to have the uh, true or the conventional Japanese style, but it's a much more harmonious way to put all the tattoos together on the body um, rather than the old-fashioned Western idea of just a bunch of scroll work and a few flat-looking flowers and a bunch of stars, you know. It's a beautiful, it's, a, it's a, a fascinating thing to watch a Japanese tattoo artist because <clears throat> they have just a very few little simple things in front of them, you know. And they pick a design, they set it up there and they draw it all on freehand. And then just with a, a few simple little movements and then your tattoo comes out. Where the Western way, my God, there's 20,000 different things to think about. <laughs> Well, there's all kinds of myths and sayings about tattoos all over the world. Uh, would be uh, what you'd call old wives' tales, uh, like removing tattoos with pigeon milk, or uh, ideas people get about uh, the way they feel, or uh, what they're associated with. Uh, like for years and years in this country and in Europe, most tattooing was associated with criminals and people in jail and this and that. And then along came the wars, you know, and uh, then it was associated with sailors and soldiers and this and that. But today, uh, of course, we're always having these wars, but still, uh, people, more of the ordinary people today are getting tattooed than ever before. I don't know, it just seems to be a thing. Uh, people that work in a gas station or an office building or drive a truck or work on a ranch or miners or even uh, really well-to-do businessmen. Uh, even surprisingly, a lot of uh, millionaire corporate people come in to get tattoos. Uh, I'm kind of used to it now, but over the years when all this change happened, you just never know who to expect.